and welcome to another episode of The Nashville Diary. We did it, we made it to episode two, barely. But that's okay, because you know what? We learn as we go, we're making things happen, everything, everything is going good. So this is gonna be a shorter episode and it's mostly just going to be a get to know me episode. I do a lot of very in-depth storytelling in this series. So I figure you'll probably want to get to know me before I tell you all about my life story. And there was so much backstory to cover in the last one that I didn't have time to get into any of this stuff. So that's why we're going to give it its own episode and get into it today. So here are some fun facts about me. And if you want to follow along on the blog, the post that I'm referencing in this episode is, so like, who even is this Rita K person? Something to consider. Now these are just gonna be random things about me in no particular order. That's kind of like how I like to live my life is just random and in no particular order. So I feel like it's a fitting way to structure this anyway. So let's dive in. Number one, my favorite food is Lou Malnati's pizza. It is deep dish Chicago style pizza. There are different places, but Lou Malnati's is my favorite. If you ever go to Chicago, you better go and get some because it is the go-to spot for all of my birthday dinners and whenever I visit home, I go straight there before I end up going uh, to my parents' house. We literally go straight from the airport to Luan Lottie's and then you get home. It's that important and that impactful. Fun fact number two, I am obsessed with Shark Week. I love sharks and Shark Week is just the perfect thing because it's an entire week dedicated to learning more about sharks they're incredible creatures. There's so much to learn about them. I have a lot of shark apparel. So if you're ever trying to get me a gift or a present or a souvenir, if it's a shark, I'm probably going to like it. Number three, kind of tying into the whole shark theme, but not in the way that I would want it to if I was doing this. I love the beach. I don't know how I ended up in the Midwest, but my heart was meant to be on a shoreline or on an island. So all of my decor, all of my fashion, I'm, I'm not very big on fashion, but for what I, the clothes that I wear, it's all like beachy. That's kind of my thing. And I love, especially Hawaii. I think it's one of the most beautiful places I've ever been. I cried, literally cried the last time I had to come back to the, the continental states. But I love everything about the beach, the ocean, the salty air. Just the entire vibe of being on a coastline and being near the ocean and swimming in the ocean, it's my happy place. I have a child and by child, I mean I have a toy poodle. It took basically my entire childhood convincing my parents to let us get a dog because my dad had pretty bad allergies, but it was well worth the wait because my dog Pixie is the cutest, sweetest, most adorable, kind, loving thing ever. She is my best friend. She knows all of my troubles. She's been there for me with good cuddles. And she's a little sassy sometimes. She takes after her mother, me. I am very proud that I taught her how to roll over. She was only two pounds when we got her as a puppy. And even now she's still pretty small. So she basically is like a forever puppy, but she's just my favorite. I love her so much. So I do not like coffee. I have never liked coffee. I always thought it would grow on me one day as I became mature. Maybe that's why I just never became mature. Yeah, no, just don't like it at all. I tried, I tried to put stuff in it. It didn't help, it was still gross. I do, however, really like tea. I like green tea, I like sleepy time tea, I like black tea, any type of tea really. So yes, tea is definitely my preferred drink. When I do drink coffee, I drink it black and I drink it because I'm falling asleep at work and need to stay awake. And oftentimes I will just chug the whole glass so I can get it over with. I haven't really experimented with espresso yet. Maybe that's like the coffee thing for me to have. I do like frappuccinos at Starbucks. Um, they don't taste like coffee, so that's why I like them. I love, 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 love to travel. Speaking of traveling, I actually got this this sweatshirt thing when I was in when I was in London. Got it at a little stand and it's it's one of my faves, it's very cute. My song Horizon actually kind of touches on this, but my dad has always worked for the airlines. So I grew up around planes, I grew up around flying, I grew up around traveling. And I've studied abroad three times. I went to Costa Rica, Cuba, and London. And each time was like a life-changing experience. So I always encourage everybody, if you have the chance to travel to another country or even another state, like 
do it. Travel as much as you can. That's one of the things I'm looking forward to as my music career picks up and up and up. I want to be able to tour. I want to be able to meet people from different places and just experience different places. I never really want to be tied down. I want to be able to explore and see everywhere in the world. I also grew up watching the show The Amazing Race and I would love to be on that show. I am left-handed. And although it does make me feel pretty unique, it's also a struggle because a lot of things aren't really meant for left-handed people. In preschool, my teacher said I was struggling with cutting. Really, I just was using right-handed scissors as a left-handed person. Taking the ACT was a nightmare because all the desks at the school were made for right-handed people. So I'm taking my desk like in this tiny little corner, always getting smudges right here anytime you write anything, but you know, it's cool. Although I am left-handed, I do play guitar. Play guitar, I'm still learning how to play guitar. I do play guitar right right-handed uh, simply because I play the violin and when I play the violin I learn like this so like this is the hand that that makes the notes so it kind of translates better to this my brain is wired okay this one does the the other part and this part plays the notes I also kick with my left foot I played soccer and I was more dominant in my left foot so I was always going down the left sideline, taking shots from my left foot they didn't know how to handle me which definitely gave me a little advantage so you know what there's pros and cons Speaking of soccer, yes, I used to play soccer. I played from about third grade until high school. I was usually a left midfielder. I like to be a part of all the action. I did also play goalie sometimes, and one of my crowning achievements throughout my soccer career was stopping a penalty shot as a goalie. I always imagine it back in my head, like it was in slow motion, like in a sports movie where it's really, really intense. It gets really quiet, and then there's just me, the goalie, I'm standing there, and they take the shot, and I'm just slow motion. That's what it felt like. There was even like a giant mud puddle that I jumped into as I got the ball. One thing I never achieved, which I wish I would have at some point, was a header goal. I scored a lot of goals in my time, but none with my head. So hopefully one of my future children wants to play soccer and can I can live that dream vicariously through them. Wicked is my favorite musical. I love musical theater. I did musical theater. I kind of touched on this in the last video, but I did musical theater when I was growing up and also in high school. The first time I saw Wicked, I went with my grandma and we took a limo and it was the coolest thing possible. And I saw it a second time with one of my best friends. And I would see it a third and a fourth and a fifth time because it's that good. And my graduation cap was also Wicked themed. My mom went out last minute to buy me some rhinestones for that. Thanks mom. It hold it together so well. But yeah, I, I love musical theater. I would say a close second to Wicked for me would probably be Hamilton. I was in love with the soundtrack for such a long time, probably like a year, a couple of years maybe even, before I actually got the chance to see it. That was another birthday present and it did not disappoint. My favorite song from Hamilton is called Nonstop and I feel like I really relate to that song on a personal level. I feel like that's kind of the way I live my life and the way I live my life here in Nashville, just kind of being nonstop, trying to make it to the top. I've always been the type of person to not necessarily want to be famous for being famous, but you know, I want to get to a level of success in my music where I would be recognizable or would be a household name, but never for the reason of celebrity. The only reason I would want to be considered as a celebrity is to be on the reality shows that have celebrities on them. None of the dramatic ones, only the fun ones. And I'm of course talking about Dancing with the Stars. I would love to be famous enough to be on that show. And I wanna dance with Derek Huff. So I don't know if he's even on that show anymore, but he's gonna have to come back so he can dance with me. But that show is amazing. It's, it's so feel good. When I joined the dance team, I wasn't, like I hadn't been taking lessons since I was a kid. I did take some lessons when I was a kid, but I was not good at them because I just wanted to run around and do my own thing instead of listen to the teacher. But I kind of got into dancing late and you know, I learned and grew a lot just from those short years. And so watching people progress on that show and learn and learn things about themselves and really enjoy the art form, I just love that. And the way they put on that show and the sets and the costumes and all that, definitely something I would like to be a part of. Well, that's all I got. Thank you so much for taking the time to get to know me in this episode. Next episode, we will be diving into my story and you will find out what it was like to move to Nashville, not know a single person, lock myself out of my house, have my car break down. So make sure you subscribe to my channel if you have not already. And while you're here on my YouTube channel, I would really appreciate it if you checked out my music videos. I have an official music video for Rome and for Heat of the Moment, and I paid a lot of money to make those. Uh, so I, would, I want them to be seen. So please check them out if you can. I'm still paying one of them off as we speak. But yeah, thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you so much for your support as always. And I will see you next week, hopefully at the right time.